Guys, last year from Everlast New Zealand, we thought we would uh, crank out the laser cleaner today. Uh, this is the 301. Um, so we thought we would do some automotive parts cleaning today, show you guys um, a few different uh, uses for this, this technology. Uh, definitely can see this taking off in the automotive scene. So this one is the Pulse laser cleaner. So the other one that we've shown you before is the laser welder, which also has a cleaning function. So the laser cleaning on that one is quite uh, intense. Puts a lot, a bit of heat into it. It's not heaps, but puts a little bit of heat into this stuff. This one is a pulse laser cleaner, so you can uh, adjust the hertz um, so that it will uh, not really put too much heat into the item that you're trying to clean. So we've got this old 4G63 head here. Um, it's been painted for some reason. Thought we would chuck the laser on it and show you guys what it actually can do. Cool thing about this as well is obviously if you've got a head or some part that you're trying to laser clean, you can have the rubber seals in there and it won't affect the rubber seals. It's actual incredible. Um, so we'll show you a few different things. Hopefully crank out some cardboard later on and show you pulling ink out of the cardboard and not burning the cardboard. I've seen Jesse do it so I want to give it a go myself as well. Um, but yeah, let's uh, get into this. We'll put on our safety equipment. Safety sunnies, and then uh, so when you get your unit, it'll come up with your screen like so. Pretty much, you want to hit on the cleaning. You want to hit on number one, enter. So now you're onto your machine. So up in here is your swing. I'm gonna come back over here. So swing. So you've got your different ways that the laser works, and they're all incredible. Like actual, all have a different purpose. Um, so you can adjust every single thing, uh, size, diameter, um, the way that it pulses, everything off, off these settings. And then you can go into the power setting as well. So we're at 100% power at the moment, we're at 90 hertz, we're probably going to put this up to 1000. Um, everything else you pretty much just leave. And then so to arm this machine, or you can actually go into files as well and you can have pre-save files, so up to nine different files, if you've got something that you're regularly doing and you want to be able to save a setting for. And then so you just hit sway, laser, and now we're good to go. One other thing I want to point out is, obviously this is your screen, it's a lot bigger than the other one, you have to make sure that this thing stays clean, it doesn't get put down and damaged, or otherwise the machine won't work. Check on some uh, safeties, I guess, I didn't even check what I'm going to put it on. Uh, we'll just run with what's on there, eh? So like the laser welder, this runs the double pulse action as well, so it's a safety function. So instead of just pressing it once and it turning on, so say if you put it on a bench, it's not going to go, you have to double pulse it fast for it to work. Do you want to put some goggles on or? <laughs> Alright. You'll find as well, there, there, is, there is a focal point, so if we put it on the bench here, so when you actually double trip it, there will be two dots, you want to have those two dots, they match up with each other and that's um, when this is working at its full efficiency. But yeah, you can see here, probably not the right setting obviously for head work, so I might put a little bit of a texture in, it's not too bad, um, but like there's no heat, like there's zero heat on that. So. 
We might go down the road and we might get a door or something like that and show you guys this working with some panel work um, and showing you that this with like doors and rust and stuff like that is going to be safe now for stripping cars or paint off cars and stuff like that for panel repairs or rust repairs and so forth. Sweet. I also forgot to put a, a Everlast a fume extractor on as well. So I've actually mounted this underneath my bench, drilled a hole in it and put it through. Now it works a treat. We've changed the setting, we're going to give it a go. Oh, I haven't armed it. Now I have. This one is the one I like to call flower power for the obvious reasons. It's doing an amazing job. Great for carbon build up. If you've got something gunky head and you don't want to fully strip it, you can run the laser quickly over it. Done a wicked job too. All right, so we'll change the setting quickly. Well, we'll give it the figure eight, eh? Make sure I arm it this time. So yeah, there's different. There's so many different motions. Fume extractor keeping the fumes away from me. But uh, same thing again, it's all cold as, doesn't put any heat into it. Um, absolutely incredible. Alright, so I think the best one for removing paint is definitely so far has been this one. I definitely everything, everything's going to have a purpose. Um, like these ones, if you do want to do certain areas and stuff like that. But for this demonstration, so sway, laser, Exit out of the warning screen, and we're over to here. Just look how thick the red is.
How good is the vacuum though, with the filter? It's taking ink out of the cardboard and catching some of it on fire. Alright, this is next level. Alright, everyone's always got heaps of rusty steel at home. It's not even hot. It's amazing. So I just show you the different functions. So I just show you the different functions. Struggle to find motivation to clean up? Have we got the tool for you? Just burn it away with the Everlast Red Sabre 3000. Disclaimer! These laser cleaners are not toys, nor designed to clean houses or household items. Please adhere to rules and regulations set by your local government. Sure.